This is a St. Lawrence College PD cast. As a new part-time faculty member, there are a few things that you will want to get in place quickly, which will make your day-to-day life at the college easier. This podcast provides information about your employee number, college keys, connection to the in-house computer systems, your internal phone and voicemail system, employee ID cards, and college parking passes. First of all, it is important to know what your employee number is. This number is created when you are activated in the payroll system and can be obtained by contacting your department office. Your employee number forms part of your college identification and has many practical uses. For instance, it is required to obtain an employee ID card and for gaining access to the printers and photocopiers at the college. Next, contact your department office and request a college key. This will open many of the popular common spaces on the campus, including the part-time faculty offices, the printing and photocopying rooms, and for the Kingston campus employees, this key will also open the staff lounge, staff restroom facilities, and the Xerox print shop offices. Connectivity to the in-house computer systems, telephones, and voicemail is likely your next step. These are all handled through the IT department. When a new faculty member is hired, an account request form is prepared by your department and is forwarded to the IT department for execution. Once completed, you will have a network account, which you will use to log into the campus computer systems. Each employee is assigned a unique home directory, which is your private H drive. Once logged into the college computer systems, you will gain admission to the college intranet site, which is the central source of online information pertinent to college employees. To access it, simply click on the Internet Explorer icon. You will also have access to the selected folders on the S drive and the academic shared server, which is an area used by faculty members to share documents and assignments with their students and other faculty members. Every employee is assigned a college email account. While you will likely have an alternative email account or accounts, you will need to access the in-house email system to receive college announcements and important messages. It is also recommended that you use this account to communicate with your colleagues and students. Gaining access to the telephone and voicemail systems is your next step. Telephones are installed in the majority of offices and classrooms in the college. In most cases, the telephone requires a login and password for outbound calling. Internal calls to any college extension can be made without logging in, and in the event of an emergency situation, dialing 9911 or 5555 for campus security are always available. Most college employees are assigned a unique and secure telephone extension. Once assigned, you will be able to set up your personal voicemail and assign a password to your account. The telephone extensions are not location dependent, which means you are able to use any of the phones on campus, including the ones located in the classroom. For more information about IT services, please contact the help desk at extension 4357. Your next step is to then get an employee ID card. This is a very important piece of photo identification and is recommended to keep it in your possession at all times. The employee ID card is used by the campus security team to identify our employees And in the event that you are locked out of your office or need to enter the college when it's closed, the security team will be able to verify your status using this card. Employee ID cards also have swipe capabilities, granting access to restricted areas of the college to identified employees, as well as access to the printers and photocopiers. To get your employee ID card, visit the Educational Media Department at your campus. Remember, you will need to have your employee number with you in order to get your employee ID card. After you receive your employee ID card, it is recommended that you visit the IT Connect Help Desk or contact the IT Help Desk at extension 4357 to confirm that your card has been properly activated for the printers and photocopiers on site. As well, if your position requires access to secured areas of the building, for instance the computer labs, contact the security manager at extension 1253 to confirm your security settings have been programmed into your card. Finally, depending on your teaching schedule, a parking pass may be another consideration. While campus parking is free on weekends and after 5 p.m. on weekdays, parking fees are levied for other times of the day. Annual parking passes offer a lower price option to pay in the daily rate, and they can be customized to match your work schedule at the college at significantly lower cost than an annual pass. For more information and to obtain a parking pass, visit the college bookstore on your campus. For more professional development resources, check out the Learning and Development Center website.